basically watch till the end because that's when I tell you about the experiment but I did stop taking them for a while and I did notice something friends I noticed a lot of things actually so hey friends welcome back and if you're new welcome my name is Nikki I hope that you will consider subscribing I currently upload every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday actually in the month of December I'm uploading every day I don't know how long it's gonna last I can't make you any promises but we are on day four and I have gotten four videos up so subscribe hit the bell if you didn't know you can't just subscribe now YouTube requires you guys to hit the bell which is right next to the subscribe button that basically tells YouTube hey I want to know when Nikki uploads so you have to subscribe hit the bell give this a thumbs up all that other stuff also I have two other channels if you're interested I always link them down below I have a vlog channel I always try to describe what's on my vlog channel but you guys know what a vlog channel is it's just behind the scenes my life dating, living with my Shih Tzu in Los Angeles, just trying to figure out this crazy thing called life. I also have a reselling channel, so if you didn't know, I resell clothing. I resell everything on Amazon, Poshmark, and eBay. It's one of my part-time jobs. I love it. I just started that channel. It's a little baby that's near and dear to my heart. Basically, I show you the things that I'm buying. I show you what's selling. I tell you how much money I make. So maybe if you're interested in like a side hustle or you're just curious about reselling, link to those channels down below. Halo Beauty. These have been some of my most requested videos ever on my channel. I want to start with saying this isn't sponsored, okay? I have paid with I have paid for these with my own money for a year and a half. I think they're 39 when I used to well because now they have subscription packs but the bottle if you buy the bottles like $39.99 never been sent to me for free not sponsored okay not sponsored <laughs> um, I did the last review video I did on Halo Beauty was a year update so if you are like new to Halo Beauty or you're just starting and you kind of want to follow my journey I will leave a link to the videos down below I think at this point I've done like nine or ten videos on Halo Beauty I did like a four week update a six week update two months six months so if you want to check all those out kind of follow the I was gonna say like a roller coaster but the evolution of me with Halo Beauty I'll link those down below but that is one of, that the year update is the most popular video on my channel it almost has a million views well not a million I think it's like 860,000 which for a channel with 50 something thousand subscribers is a lot of views and you guys said you want more updates, so that's what we're doing. So let's start with what Halo Beauty is. I feel like if you've clicked on this video, you know what it is, but quickly, if you don't know. Super gorgeous, super awesome, again, not sponsored, uh, YouTuber Tati Westbrook released her own hair, skin, and nails vitamins. Now, when this happened, I think she did it in March 2018, people lost their god dang minds. People were either really excited or really upset. Because she was the first beauty YouTuber to release something different. Most people have released makeup lines, um, mugs, sweatshirts, makeup brushes. No one that I know of had released a supplement. So a lot of people were like really dubious of it. Really ripped her to shreds. Which, I mean, I thought it was refreshing. I don't really want to buy your mug. I don't really want to buy your sweatshirt or your t-shirt. Sometimes I just want something different. And so she released these, um, and I did take some time to think about it. I think I waited like a week until after she announced it, and I started popping these bad boys. So today we're doing a year and a half review on these, and I did do it a little experiment, and it didn't turn out quite the way I thought. I did basically watch till the end, because that's when I tell you about the experiment, but I did stop taking them for a while, and... I did notice something, friends. I noticed a lot of things, actually. So let's jump into it. I'm going to break this up into hair review, skin review, nails review, because that's what it is. It's a hair, skin, and nails vitamin. And then stay tuned to the end because I share my accidental experiment with you and what I learned. I'm spilling all the tea once again because it was interesting. Let's jump into it. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with talking about nails. I believe I told you this in the, I didn't want to watch the year update because I didn't want to skew my thoughts on what I thought six months ago. So I just thought, um, I'll just start and tell you what's been going on. So nails, 
Halo Beauty. Here's the thing. When I first started taking it, if you go and watch the previous videos of a month, six weeks, my nails like grew like a weed. It was amazing. But then I think once my body just kind of got used to the supplement and me taking it daily, it just kind of evened out to the point where it just stopped growing like a weed and they've just become strong. And I'll show you close-ups of my nails right now. Um, I do wear fake nails. I do like the clip-on ones. I love them. They're just easy. I cannot stand getting a manicure. I think it is such a waste of money. Specifically for me, because I type a lot, I hand wash dishes, I need to start using gloves to protect my hands. I can't stand using a dishwasher. That's a whole other tangent, whole other thing. But I use my hands a lot. So what was my point in telling you that? Oh yeah, so I use fake nails, I'm like, what? I use fake nails just because it's easy for me and I can't stand getting a manicure. I get a manicure, it's chipped like a day later. I can't stand it, it's a waste of money. So I, my nails, have not been growing like a weed like they used to. That's one of the things I noticed, that they just kind of leveled out. But you guys, I'm not kidding. Halo Beauty has made my nails so strong. Before Halo Beauty, I remember my nails would like crack, rip off, break. That's not, it sounds gross, but it's true. Break off a couple times a week. Random nails just completely like chip, break off, whatever. Now since Halo Beauty, I could literally like knock these things against a wall. They do not budge. Of course I still have breakage here and there, but it's nothing like before when I started taking Halo Beauty. I should have said in the intro, this is not sponsored. I do pay with Halo Beauty with my own money. Never been sent anything for free. I am kind of salty. Like I see Tati doing like all these parties for her subscribers and releases for Halo Beauty. I'm like, why don't they invite me? I, if I met her, I'd probably like, I would be calm, but I would be very excited. I've been watching her since she started her channel. And I'm in Los Angeles. I'm like, what's wrong with me? But anyways, tangent. Um, just to say, like, this isn't sponsored. I've never met Tati. No one's ever contacted me in Halo Beauty. Actually, when I posted a snippet of my Halo Beauty one year review, they did post it on the Halo Beauty Instagram, but like they didn't contact me and say, can we send you anything? So not sponsored. This is just honest opinion. I have paid 39, whatever it is, what is it? Like 39.99 for each bottle for a year and a half myself. Um, it just makes my nails really strong, guys. Really strong. And stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna tell you how I know the difference because I did stop taking it for a while. So I will tell you how I know the difference of taking Halo Beauty and not taking Halo Beauty and the difference between my nails. I'm 100% being honest, yes, I still have like a chipped nail here and there, but nothing like before Halo Beauty. I think the nails, I was gonna say the nails is one of the biggest differences I noticed, but it's just easier to spot because it's just nails, but it's, I love it. I love Halo Beauty for that. My nails are extremely strong. I love it. Okay, let's talk about skin. Now, I need to tell you a little bit about my skin before we get started. So I have always had oily, acne prone. I hate to say problematic, but my skin is freaking problematic. Like I've just had oily, acne prone, problematic skin my entire life. I've done a couple of videos where I've tried different treatments. I've tried a chemical peel, which I did like at first, dried my skin out completely, which was very odd for me. I'd never had dry skin until I got a chemical peel. I'll leave a link to those chemical peel videos down below. There's actually a funny video where I think I had to go to work or something and I tried to put makeup over my chemical peel. I'll leave a link to that video down below. That was funny, but that's my skin type. I have tried many hair, skin, and nail vitamins in the past. Um, Nature's Made, I mean, all the ones you've seen at like CVS, Target. And what I've found is because they have such high levels of biotin, they always break me out like right around the jawline. And I'm talking about like horrible, deep, cystic acne breakouts, like making my skin worse than before I started. I cannot just take pure biotin. I need something to counteract that. So I was a little nervous, honestly, to take this because it has quite a bit of biotin in it. But I remember Tati saying, I don't remember the exact ingredient. You guys can tell me down below. There's one that helps um, counteract the biotin so you don't have those breakouts. So you guys, I love Halo Beauty. Now I can't contribute, so let me tell you. Let me go back, I'm getting excited. Um, 
So skin. I do a lot, my skincare routine, I'm not gonna lie to you, is very expensive. I do a lot of stuff. I use a lot of higher end skincare products. I told you guys I wanna try more affordable drugstore drug skincare items because I do go get a microdermabrasion at least once a month with a facial. It, I think the most affordable one I found is about $300. Um, I do use a lot of treatments and things. So I'm t taking into account that with Halo Beauty. But I have noticed in the year and a half since I've been taking Halo Beauty, my skin breaks out a lot less. A lot less. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not like I never have breakouts, but it is a lot, extremely less. Let's say I had breakouts, and I'm not exaggerating, like 80% of the time, it's dropped down to maybe like 20% of the time. And when I, before I started taking Halo, if you go and watch those early reviews, I had really bad hormonal cystic acne. So what I did is I switched up my skincare routine, started using different products. One of the most affordable products that I really like that helped clear up my cystic acne that I actually get from CVS is La Roche-Posay. Now it's not, it's not like Neutrogena pricing, but it's also not like Caudalie pricing. If you're interested in Caudalie, I did a full review on their line. I'll link it down below. I feel like I should do a, uh, one brand review on La Roche-Posay because I love that stuff but I've noticed my skin and I'll show you before and after photos my skin I just have a lot less breakouts since taking this and another thing the biggest thing I've noticed about my skin when taking Halo Beauty is the complexion and I never knew that a vitamin could help you with your complexion but my complexion just seems brighter does that make sense? Like, it just seems like brighter, more even. I love it. I love it. I love it for skin and nails, honestly. And I, again, follow me till the end because I'm going to tell you how I know the difference of taking Halo Beauty and not taking Halo Beauty because I did a little experiment, friends. I did a little experiment and things do change when you don't take it, but we'll talk about that a little bit towards the end. But the biggest thing I've noticed is less breakouts it's not going to give you a new face. Maybe it will for some of you guys. I follow Halo, Halo Beauty on Instagram and I see a lot of their before and afters and I'm like, that's amazing. So some people, every, you guys, you have to remember, a supplement affects everybody differently. Everybody has different deficiencies than everyone. And some people say, well, you wouldn't need a multivitamin if you could just get all this in your diet, you would eat properly. I eat very healthy. I eat vegan like three days a week. Not that if you're vegan you eat healthy, but I, I have green smoothies all the time. I don't know if there's realistically any way for me to get all of these things in my diet daily the way I can from taking these supplements. So for skin, the biggest things I've noticed, less breakouts and my complexion just seems more even and bright. All right, let's talk about hair. So. I will put in some before and after photos of when I initially started taking Halo Beauty up until now. The thing is, I did just have, so this is extensions, not extensions, this is sew and weave. So before, I just had this put in like two months ago. So I actually had the hairstylist take photos of my real hair when she took out the old weave and put this one in. But look at what happened to my phone. Can you guys see that? completely cracked the damn phone short story thanksgiving i'm at my best friend's house this poor phone um and they have a new reclining couch but it's super cool like you push a button and the couch reclines electronically i've never seen a recliner like that like when i think of recliner i think of those old school lazy boys where you have to push the handle and you go like flying back i didn't even realize that my phone had fallen in between the crack of their new couch. So I'm reclining, 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 and I hear like, crack, 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 and I was like, oh crap, my fat ass has broken their recliner. And they, everybody, there's like 10 people in the room, everybody looks at me like, you broke the brand new couch? So then I slowly start sitting up, I'm like, sorry, sorry, sorry. And I realize, where's my phone? Oh, that was what was cracking my phone. So long story short, I don't have the most recent photos of my real hair. I will have to show you ones that are basically like five months old. I basically get my sewing replaced every two to three months. So long story short to tell you that. Let me tell you what I've noticed between the beginning and now of Halo Beauty. I think, honestly, hair is probably like the least shocking difference I've noticed. I noticed that when I started taking Halo Beauty in the beginning, 
my hair grew, but it wasn't like my nails, like a weed. And it wasn't like my skin where it was like almost within a month, my complexion changed and I had less breakouts. I think hair has been like the, the most slowly gradual change that I've noticed. And the biggest thing I've noticed isn't so much even growth, it's most well, more so the strength of my real hair. Now again, I tell you, I only see my real hair like every two to three months, but I've noticed that my hair is much stronger. And by the way, this whole top part, like I don't know if you can see that, that's my real hair. I've even noticed that just with this, like we call it leave out, it's just stronger. It can take more heat. It can take more damage. Not that I should be doing more damage, but if I'm being honest, I do put a lot of heat on this top part that's all my real hair and this part here this so this is all my real hair i've just noticed that it's a lot stronger but let me know if you take halo beauty and you've been taking it for a while or even as long as i have have you noticed that your hair grows really fast because i look at their before and after photos on their instagram and people they seem to be experiencing like extreme hair not extreme but quick hair growth and i haven't noticed that as much for me but Maybe the caveat is, is because I have these this sew-in, maybe it doesn't grow as, as fast or as great as it would if I didn't have a sew-in. Because if you don't know, a sew-in is basically they cornrow your real hair and they sew in the weave or the extensions into the cornrows. So maybe it would grow faster if I didn't have this in. I don't know because the entire, I'm trying to think. In the beginning, I had wigs, so I would take the wigs off at night. I love fake hair, by the way. My mom was like, what is wrong with you? Your real hair is beautiful, and all you wear is fake hair. It's just easy. If you guys wear wigs and weaves and extensions, you just know. I have a full-time job. I do YouTube. I do real estate. I do reselling. I have like five jobs. Like I can't be messing around with my natural hair all the time. It's just easy. But in the beginning, I did wigs, so I would take the wigs off every night, and it was easier to track the hair growth. And I did notice in the beginning, my hair did grow, but it wasn't like super extreme, you know? It was like a slow, gradual thing. Like the nails were very immediate. Like immediately they started growing like a weed, then they kind of tapered off, and now they're just strong. The skin immediately, almost immediately clear up, cleared up my acne and gave me a smoother complexion. I'd say for um hair it's been kind of just like a gradual your hair is stronger it's growing but it's not like a weed but it's strong okay let's get into the juicy tea that i told you i would share towards the end of the video because i have i did a little experiment with halo beauty it was kind of by accident so i always order in threes right so i got down to the last like almost well I finished the third bottle and I thought I had placed an order because I always I told you I buy in threes to get the free shipping this was before they started offering the subscriptions and the refill packs and I realized after a week if you follow me on the vlog channel I have been to 20 states this year I'm trying to finish up visiting the 50 states I think I only have five more left Utah Hawaii Alaska I can't remember the other two. I have five more left. And I just realized during my travels, like, oh crap, it's been a week since I've taken Halo Beauty. Oh crap, it's been a month since I've taken Halo Beauty. So I, in the year and a half, actually missed two months. Just because of traveling, moving around a lot. So it was kind of by accident. So at the end of the two months, I was like, what? I want to know, like, what have I noticed that's different? And I did, friends. I did notice quite a bit of differences when I stopped taking Halo Beauty. So let's get into it. Number one, my nails went back to their crappy ways. <laughs> like completely. That's one of the first things I noticed, maybe like around week three to four, they started breaking off really easily. They weren't as strong. I could literally like touch my keyboard and a nail would go flying. This is my real nail. And I was like, that's when I realized, even though I was traveling, I was like, wait a minute, I haven't been taking Halo Beauty. I think it was like around week three or four that I really noticed. Like, why are my nails like this? Then skin. So skin was like the, I feel like the least dramatic change but because I do so many other things like I started doing the Roche Posay I told you I do the microdermabrasion so my skin never reverted back completely to like that cystic acne issue but I noticed that my skin complexion wasn't as bright and vibrant like it was crazy the differences I noticed between Halo Beauty taking Halo Beauty and not taking Halo Beauty the differences were honestly like astounding like what 
my skin complexion just didn't look as vibrant and bright. I don't know if that makes sense, but I could see a difference. Now hair, I think hair was probably the least difference I noticed because again, I have the sew-in, so. But what I did notice for the hair, my real hair that's out, is that when I, because I told you guys, I kind of beat my hair up. I shouldn't, but I do. I flat iron it um, when I go to the hair salon. She actually uses a hot comb. If you don't know what a hot comb is, it's like a literally like a, is it metal? I don't know, it's like a metal comb that they put on a stove that gets this mother effer like really hot and then they like, you know, use it basically to get your hair like bone straight. So I put my hair through a lot and I noticed that this hair, the real hair that's out was breaking a lot more. And I was like, what is going on? I didn't have Halo Beauty. So I, out of the year and a half, didn't take it for two months and I noticed quite extreme differences from taking it and not taking it. That's how I know that the the benefits that I get are from Halo Beauty and not something else. Because I did stop taking it. once I noticed it really, like I told you, three to four weeks. And I was like, well, let's just go another month and see what happens. Because I wanted to be able to tell you guys what happens in this accidental experiment. And it does make a difference. But let's talk about this. Because in my last video, in my year update, a lot of people were pissed about that. I think in that video I told you I forgot to order, same thing. But I had only stopped for a month. And I noticed things went bad. Why does that piss you guys off? Not all of you, some of you, but some people got really upset by that. And to me, it's mind, not mind blowing, but I'm like, what is going on? Why are you upset? If you stop taking a multivitamin, why wouldn't you expect things to go back to the way they were before you took it? Like to me, I think of it as, let's say I eat really healthy greens, smoothies, you know, I'm getting all my, you know, all my greens, all my vegetable servings daily and my skin looks great, my body looks great, I feel great. If I stopped doing that, I would expect that my skin, my hair, I wouldn't feel as great, it wouldn't look as great. That's just like, that's just nature, right? Like if you stop taking something or if you stop doing something, for example, I thought, what about working out? Let's say I work, so right now I work out like five, six days a week, I feel great, I'm physically fit, you know, I run marathons, link to those videos down below. If I stopped working out five or six days a week, why wouldn't I expect to gain weight or not feel as physically fit or not be able to run marathons? So to me, it would make sense that if, I don't know, am I the crazy one? Because a lot of people in that video were really like, oh, well, if you stop taking it, everything goes back to normal. Like, why would I even start taking it then? But hello, if you stop doing a lot of things, like everything's gonna go back to the way it was before. If you stop doing drugs, you'll go back to being like the way you were before drugs. I'm going off on tangents, but I don't know, to me I was just like, why does that shock you? And the thing that I have noticed is that even though I stopped taking it for two months, it's not like it was before I ever started taking Halo Beauty. Like my skin is not cystic acne. My hair is still stronger than before I started taking Halo Beauty. It's just not as strong. So I don't know, to me I was like, I don't know why that, you can let me know in the comments down below. I feel like you guys are, especially my oldies, but my goldies, my subbies, you guys are so kind and nice and respectful. And you, I feel like you guys can dialogue without getting upset at each other or fighting. But let me know. I don't know. To me, I don't want to say it's common sense, but to me, I was just like, what? I don't understand why people are upset by that. I don't know. You can let me know your thoughts down below. Another issue that people had is they said that you can get the same ingredients and other vitamins for a lot more affordable price. I don't know, I've taken a lot of hair, skin, and nail vitamins in my life, and none of them have given me the results that Halo Beauty has. Take it from me, a try it for yourself, I don't know. I've tried a lot. I've tried probably all the ones you've seen at the drugstore because of my problematic skin, I've tried a lot. I've tried all the ones you've probably seen at Target. I've probably tried a couple that you've seen in like Nordstrom or online. Like I've tried a lot and none of them have given me the results of this. I sound like a damn salesperson for Halo Beauty. I'm not, but Halo Beauty, if you would love to sponsor me, please call me because I love your products. And I don't understand why you don't invite me to your parties. <laughs> How bitchy do I sound? Like, why don't you invite me to meet Tati? Because I would be the best spokeswoman ever. You know what? <clears throat> a couple of you did say, that you would really like to see a woman of color promoting Halo Beauty. 
And I'm like, hello, Halo Beauty, woman of color here, ready to promote your product. I do keep it real with you guys. Like I tell you the truth, but I also tell you I love this product and I've been saying that for like a year and a half, but I just thought that that was interesting. I didn't think about that, but they should think about that, right? Like they should have women of color um, promoting their products, which I'm sure they do. I don't know. Anyways, I'm off on tangents. I'm off on tangents. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you taking Halo Beauty? Are you considering taking it? Do you take any of the other ones? Like they have now a Kiwi Seed Booster, a Body and Brain Booster for men, for women. Like are you taking any of those? Let me know your thoughts. Are you thinking about taking it? Do you guys want more reviews? I'm thinking you're going to say yes. <laughs> but I thought I would ask. Shall I just keep going, friends? Shall we just do two years, two and a half years, three years? I mean, I've just, I've gone this far. Why not? Like, why? let's just do the, like, five-year Halo Beauty update, right? But let me know down below. Do you still want more reviews? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the other channels. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of Halo Beauty? I'm really curious. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the vlog, subscribe to the vlog channel, the reselling channel. You can check out my most recent video right here.